Hello family, it's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your new moon in Sagittarius, read big baby. Hope you guys are doing super, super fantabulous and just really, really enjoying this energy out there. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs, guys. I hope you are getting better sleep than I am. It is 11.25 at night, and I have to be at work in the morning. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to join with you. Guys, this will be a general read, not for any specific signs, just kind of talking about the energy that's up there for you to grab and kind of let it set with you for a little bit. So, with that being said, who's the ruler of Sagittarius? No other than the big baby Jupiter, the largest planet, the planet of faith and positivity. And Sagittarius is all about what? Freedom! Yes, baby. This is a very special pre-Christmas and winter solstice new moon, okay? It will conjunct Saturn. So, energy is going to last all the way till um, January 16th. This is a great moon for building a strong foundation with family, with romances and partnerships, all that good stuff, okay? With that being said, when I went through the process of going through the cards and seeing which ones wanted to come out, I didn't really see a theme at first and I was like, okay, this is really odd. But then when I started thinking about it and I started like putting the things together, I was like, oh, hold up. This is an intense mood. And yes, this is a great time to connect with your creator. This is a great time to connect and really put your um, desires, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes out there to be taken. So let's talk about the moon energy. The moon energy, the card that came out for it is Lady of the Stars. And this is from the Isis Oracle from Alana Fairchild. She is serious, is a celestial goddess, a star of unconditional love and wisdom, and it has a really high vibration. So it's time to pay attention because significant things are taking place right now during this time. This is about an inner path, spiritual healing journey into a whole nother area, okay? The heart in question is, <coughs> sorry, must be able to consciously cultivate unconditional love for it okay you have got to come from a place of love when you're hoping you're wishing you're praying you're hoping and wishing and praying for good things out of love okay so this is for spiritual support and it's just letting you know that right now the energy is all there for the taking that you should trust your intuition and move towards your goals okay now the I would like to say what's mentally going on because it's a mind, body, soul for me. We have Eagle Medicine. <laughs> Eagle Medicine has not came out in a long time. Um, it always makes me think of Nacho Libre, y'all. I just freaking love that movie when he's talking about the eagle eggs. So basically, you guys need to eat eagle eggs to give you special powers, okay? Anyways, this is about facing our fears and overcoming it courage and stamina they're building up inside with us but this is also about a profound connection with your creator and i find it interesting that we have lady of the stars eagle medicine the source and all of that is talking about divine connection so you might be finding yourself because everyone's making all these new year's resolutions trying to live a better life in 2018 but you might find yourself on a spiritual journey for the next few weeks really trying to understand what you want in place for you for 2018 and this energy is right there and this reminds you to take heart and face your fears that you have the strength to overcome adversity and that direct line to the creator it is connected okay you are highly connected at this time and it's asking you to come forward and connect with your creator all right now moving on into our sacred power card which is what we're is our physical out physicality or our body it's source this is the number 32 in this deck and it is attributed for me to the number five this is us clearing all that bad junk that we did all that bad stuff all whatever we like to label as bad i always think there's no good and there's no bad <laughs> It's, it's neither of the two. However, there's things that we may not be so proud of, things that we might need some assistance with. And this is just saying this is a source of comfort and, and you know, to strengthen your faith in your life with your divine consciousness. Um, whenever um, positive energy exists within us and around us, it can help us balance 
and um, help us feel more in tune with the universe and in tune with ourselves. This is about having faith that the Ascended Masters are near and they are here to help. They're here to deliver. And the messages from the loved ones, from your angels, Ascended Masters, and your Divine Source are being brought to you now. So pay high attention to your thoughts, your feelings, your impressions, your dreams, and even just like the little chills on the back of your neck or your arms because that means that they're close. Um, prayer, mantras, um, being in connection. Pray for the miracle you need because you're being divinely assisted at the moment. The energy is good there for you. And I guess that's, that's me putting a label on it. The energy is out there to be had. So if it's out there, why not take advantage of it in order to plan your next new adventure? Because that's what Sagittarius is about, right? It's about that great adventure. He's the archer. He's out there looking for a good time. What are you looking for? What do you desire? What are your intentions? Because you can't just go into this new year thinking, oh, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what goes down this year. We have to have some kind of a plan, some direction. What do you want? And this is the time that you start, you know, leaning in on your creator, reaching for that guidance and asking, what is, what, am, what is my purpose? What am I doing? How can I be successful? Where am I, where am I going? What, where do I want to go? How do I want to get there? Those kinds of questions. Now, spiritually, we have to be fair. And this is attributed to the number 38, which is an 11, which is about communication. My voice is leaving. Communication and partnerships and all that wonderful good stuff. So if you look at this card, and one side she has the fortune cookie, and it says, nope. <laughs> and then on the other side, it's like a pearl, right? On top of her is the wisdom of the owl, and she's there balancing the scales. So I feel like spiritually you will be balancing some scales, seeing what needs to stay and seeing what needs to go. This is the law of cause and effect, mutual benefit. This might be the time when you start really looking at your relationships, looking at your partnerships, looking at yourself and seeing, does this activity really benefit my life? Am I really getting, am I really benefiting their life? Is this mutual exchange of energy? Those kinds of things. So those might come into question. Um, and it's about being fair and fair to all, not just looking out for yourself, but looking out for the greater good. So this is just that kind of energy that's out there for the taking. We're going to do a quick spread and just kind of fill out the energy that we have. We'll be using the Babylonian Tarot. As you know, I already pre-shuffled, but baby, we're about to shuffle together and see what comes out. Whenever I do these kinds of reads, they're not really to predict anything. This is to talk about energy and kind of get you to thinking, huh, what do I want to start? Because when the new moon comes in, this is a wonderful time to start setting intentions, a wonderful time to use the energy of the universe so that your dreams can manifest, so that your, your plans can grow, okay? Let's bless the deck. guidance on how to work with the moon energy. Thank you. All right, rolling a six, baby. And when I cut the deck, oh, Lord have mercy. We've got a lot of hot fire, some, some conflict, and it's not inner conflict. But what's the cure? Love. Whoop. Love is the cure. Sorry, I hit the camera. So it's really important when you, when you start thinking about this conflict, what is, where is this conflict coming from? And I always ask these questions like, what am I feeling and what do I need? <laughs> and that helps me get through a lot of my day because sometimes I like legit don't even need what I want. And this conflict looks like it can be solved with simply remembering how much you love the person or remembering your love. All right, rolling a numero four. That is all about the foundation, so we are setting it up for success. <sighs> First position is the star. Second position, ten of cups reversed. Third, the fool. Fourth, the wheel. Holy moly. And fifth is the five of cups reversed. All right. Now, 
overall energy is the Eight of Cups that is coming from the bottom of the deck. So all of our cups are reversed, but that's why at the beginning we have the Two of Cups. Maybe that's why we're being divinely guided to seek our Creator, divinely guided to remember what our hopes, our dreams, and our wishes are, because we might be a little disillusioned right now. It's been a rough year for a lot of us. A lot of us are facing financial difficulties. The holidays are very difficult for others because of lost family members. So this might be a time when our cups are going in a different direction. All right. So what is your focus? Your focus is your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. And here we have Sidiri, and she's pouring her little cup out into this river, right? This And water is representation of what emotions. And her focus is on what? The future. Everyone's looking ahead. Everyone's thinking about how great it's going to be, what's going to happen. But if you see those fish in her card, if you can see those fishes, that's all the fertility. That's all the blessings. That's all those great ideas coming back to you. The thing is, don't isolate yourself in these situations. Be sure that you share your hopes, your dreams, and wishes. When we speak things out loud, we speak them into existence. It's really important to have someone you can share your hopes, dreams, and your wishes with. Even if it's just somebody online <laughs> that you made a friend with, but it's somebody who knows that's what you desire and that's what you're longing for. And that's what your focus is and that's what we should be praying for okay so what truths are you seeking or what truths are you looking for some of us are looking for our family to be successful for our family to be reunited some of us are just looking for that success on a new adventure hoping and wishing that we finally get what we've been longing for whatever that truth is and i feel like we should clarify it where is okay no okay animal deck wants to come out let's see guidance haha -ha. it is time to speak up we are definitely using that throat chakra with all this blue this is the blue heron make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of anybody's opinion and judgment or disapproval from others because this is your moment this is your time to stand tall and she's waiting in the water so i do feel like this is an emotional time for quite a few of us and those ten of cups is just poured out and you're just looking at all your emotions down there but this is where you stand up you speak from your heart and you're courageous and you let them know where you're coming from and you're doing it with love okay now What's ahead? Well, shit, we just got a motherfucking great adventure. <laughs> we got the damn dirty fool. Yes, we did. That means it's all good, baby. We are ready to start. The wheel is in motion. But look, this is um, Tammuz. No, Enkidu. I'm so sorry. This is Enkidu. And he had to make a decision here, just like you have to make a decision. Does he go and become man or does he stay and, and as an animal? And he had to make that decision. And we're, some of us are straddling the fence right now. We don't know which way we want to go. We really don't know what we want to do. We know we want something new, but we don't know what to do. But the key here is to make that decision. Enkidu decides to go and um, join the, the human race, as you would say, where he met his best friend Gilgamesh, who he was supposed to kill, but you know, they ended up making really, really great friends. So that just goes to show you, they could bury the hatches, so can you. And in this story, what he discovers is the beauty of friendship. This is where you're gonna discover who is your real friends and who, who have just been associates and along for the ride. Start evaluating your relationships. Take a stand for yourself. If you don't wanna to go to that holiday party, don't go to that holiday party. If you don't wanna wear that ugly sweater, don't wear the ugly sweater. It's your life, you do as you want to. This is your big adventure. So what a beautiful card to get. It's a zero. That means, baby, you making up this adventure as we go. You are in control. And that's why you need to have that divine guidance by your creator, okay? Now, what you need in order to be successful, time is on your side. The wheel is in motion. The wheel is going, baby. And I feel like, in a way... It's time to leave the past behind and it's time to walk into the present. A lot of us have been looking at our lives and looking at who we were maybe a year ago, two years ago. The things in the past that make us not feel so good about ourselves, 
but let's think about the things that have made us stronger. So it's kind of like changing that perspective that only time can do. Only time can heal certain things and only time can keep going, right? And time is what we use to mark things. Time is irrelevant, actually. It was what many people say, it's irrelevant. However, it is on your side. It is time to move on and it is time to go. The energy to take advantage of is his Five of Cups reversed. It's almost like looking at all the spilled milk, the spilled tequila, whatever the hell just spilled on the floor and saying, damn. But, bam, I'm off. I'm gone. I know there's more to this. I know there's more to life. I know I got more to go for. And that's that Sagittarian spirit. That's that Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky who can see the, the, the silver lining in all the clouds and get everything they want. They're always so happy. I'm a Sagittarius moon. However, I'm a Leo, but my Sagittarius comes out whenever them, them really hard times come. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, we really got to find something positive about this. And the thing is, when the Five of Cups happens, what, what else can you do after everything's hit the fan? Well, you just clean up and you go. And once you clean up, you stack up your cups, you've got six cups because you progress along the path. So this is like saying basically, look at the things that you do have with the six of cups. Make that decision with the seven of cups because baby, we are off for our adventure with this eight of cups. And this is where Gilgamesh was going after, you know, the plant of life, which the snake is eating up there. And then he ends up at the nine of cups. And then it's the Ten of Cups, which was reversed. So it's almost saying like maybe realigning your goals during this Mercury retrograde. Maybe making a decision on, hmm, this isn't really fitting what I want anymore. I think I want to try this and I'm going to go towards this way. No matter what anybody says and no matter what their opinion is, it is always your decision. All right. So that is the energy around the moon. Let's see. Energy to take advantage of. Should we clarify? Let me make sure. So, <laughs> your sacred stone is carnelian, and this is for creativity, regeneration, and sexuality. The deep orange color of this stone links it closely to the sacral chakra. So this is the place of pleasure, this is the place of creativity, and this is about emotional expression. So we might need that little bit of oompa oompa to tell somebody how we really feel, you know? So it, it's great for grounding energies, it's great for the cycles of life, giving us strength and courage, and that's what we're going to need in order to go get our hopes and dreams and take that first step on that new adventure, right? So it's also about um, accessing the higher mind more clearly and to work more consciously. This alleviates exhaustion, depression, and anxiety. It's intense energy stimulates the metabolism and increases fertility. Now drawing this card indicates that it's time to draw on your inner creative power and regenerate your life. In what areas of your life do you feel stifled? Use this energy to power you forward. So some of us are feeling stifled in relationships just because it's an emotional thing with all this water and all this cup coming through. So what we have to do is we have to harness that energy of the blue heron. The blue heron gets his feet wet. He gets all up in the mix, right? He's there. He's getting his feet wet. He's going to, but yet he stands up for himself. And that's what this moon is about, is standing up for yourself, making those relationships right, even though it doesn't feel like it could really work. At least you tried, and at least you tried to make that peace, and that's all you can do. The relationships, the partnerships, and the romance. Carnelian will assist in courage with that. Also, the sacred sight card to tie the reed up together is called Mount Tai. And it's another thing about balance because we got the yin and the yang down there. What have you learned about duality? Perfect balance reflects the necessity to live fully, okay? If we only listen to one version of the story that God is male, for example, our life is in balance. Dark and light, moon and sun, death and light are some of the yin and yang paired energies. There are no right or wrong elements. How do you perceive the energy of the dragon? Hmm. A Chinese dragon embodies wisdom, power, and good fortune, and positive perspective. Yet in the West, the dragon is seen as a negative, destructive being that must be slain. This is going to perspective, and this is almost a way to look at things. Everyone always wants to label things good or bad because that's the way we understand things. But maybe seeing it from a different perspective wouldn't give it such a bad way. Maybe you could see the strengths in it. Maybe you could see the, the joy that it brings, those kinds of things, okay? So to advance spiritually, you must understand the concept of yin and yang and bring your world into balance. Hmm. Now... 
In the upper world, because it told me not to read from the present, in the upper world is Quan Yin, the goddess of mercy, offering sympathy, compassion, and insight. It is her sacred duty to relieve suffering, helping those who ask her to remove pain and fear. When did you last ask the gods and goddesses for help? When did you last connect with your spirit guide? When did you last connect with your with your creator? That's what they want to know because we're we try to do everything by ourselves. We don't want to ask for help. We're afraid what people might think. But this is that time right now. At this at this moment, the way that the energy is moving and the way that this card read is going is like in order to get your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Even though everything looks like it's falling apart, if you just harness that energy and you just think about the positive things that can happen, because remember, Jupiter is the, the planet of abundance. It's bringing forth faith. It's bringing forth positivity. Tap into that because, you know, Sagittarius represents that. Now, on the path of enlightenment, you will be offered the opportunity to let go of all your burdens so that when you reach the top, you are free of everything that has been weighing you down. And it is a blessed achievement. So this is us. And what is it like when you're running a race and you're like at the last leg and they're about to hand off that baton and you're like, I hope Billy Ray can run faster than what he ran yesterday because if Billy Ray ain't going to make it to the finish line, I'm about to give out. Yeah, he used to run track a long time ago. So anyways, you know, they're running, they're running, they're running. You're, you're like at that last stretch and that's where you're at right now. And so you got to be that Billy Ray. You got to really put your, put your foot on that gas, baby, because you're about to hit the finish line. Don't look at the situation as it being over. Look at it as a new beginning, a way to start over. Harness that courage. Speak from your heart. Enjoy the energy that's coming your way and be blessed, family. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope you guys set your intentions for this new moon. Be blessed, family.